This is the first in a series of videos that will discuss how a family home that is supplied by utility power and gas can be converted into a self sufficient home. The house is real, and therefore, we do not know for sure if the project will be able to achieve the desired results, but in any case, this will help us to reflect on the different steps that someone, with the same ambition, must take. Please, join us on this journey. At Energy Technology Sherpa, we want to bring you this channel to get acquainted with technologies and investments in the energy sector, primarily clean energy technologies. Sherpa is a key concept as we want to be the right companion for you in a journey that is difficult somehow. The very first step will be to determine the current power consumption at the house. In Europe, Practically all households have a digital meter. This makes it much easier to have real consumption data through the web pages of the marketers. The data we need is the hourly consumption during a period of at least one year. With the data, it is possible to do a quick analysis by using a pivot table. We can obtain an average hourly consumption for each of the seasons of the year and in this way extract a series of data that will be key to be able to study the different alternatives. The annual average values give us a good idea of the behavior of consumption, being able to distinguish clearly different ones. The minimum is reached during the night hours. Consumption peaks associated with meal times and high average consumption throughout the afternoon can also be identified. This exercise provides us with a series of key parameters to be able to size our system. The minimum, maximum, average, and annual consumption help us to determine the size of our renewable system. The next step is the calculation of the photovoltaic potential. For this, we have a resource in Europe called PVGs that will allow us to calculate the potential hourly production based on factors such as orientation, slope, and mounting system. In the particular case of the residence that we are analyzing, we have a couple of flat roofs. The orientation of these roofs is minus 15 degrees to the south. To carry out a sensitivity analysis, we have downloaded the data corresponding to several possible configurations. One of them contemplates an optimal orientation in terms of azimuth and slope. Another considers a zero degree slope. And finally, we have considered a mixed 15 degrees slope with two orientations towards the southwest and northeast. We also have some shadows to consider, caused by the chimneys and the difference in heights of the terraces. Different configurations of inclination and orientation have been analyzed taking into account the restrictions of the terraces. To carry out a pre-sizing, two types of modules have been selected, one of them of 1 by 2 meters and 450 watts and the other of 1 by 1.5 meters and 390 watts. Finally, a configuration of the modules that maximize annual production has been pre-designed, as long as it exceeds the current annual consumption. The reason for this is to anticipate greater electrification of the home to reduce other energy consumption. Of all the possible configurations, the one with zero inclination was initially selected, giving priority to the ease of installation on the terraces. In the next video, we will see the results of the search for installers to help us implement the chosen solution. We will also analyze the feasibility of carrying out the project ourselves. The objective will be to obtain a budget and we will decide if it is finally worth moving forward. Thanks for watching.